Hello, I'm Father Mike Eisenberg, Assistant Vocation Director for the Diocese of Arlington. Father, what are you doing here? She was right. I shouldn't have been in that hospital room. I shouldn't have even been at the hospital, but I was. And I walked into Mike's room and I spent two minutes, two beautiful minutes with his family. And then Mike took his last breath. And the world would say, wow, what a coincidence that you were there in those last minutes of his life. But I tell you, it's no coincidence. It's the very hand of God that brought me there to that minute, to that place. And you look back at his life, Easter was his favorite day of the year. He proposed to his wife on Easter, and he died. He went home to our Lord on Easter. And when I left, I said, Lord, I shouldn't have been there. And I realized, and I had this moment of faith. Many times in our life, we have these pivotal moments of faith where all of a sudden we begin to see that God is real, that he's doing the most incredible things right around me and right through me. Today in our gospel, we have Peter and we have John, two disciples, two apostles of Jesus. And it's Easter morning. They hear that the tomb is empty. And they heard many times that Jesus would die. He told them many times that he would die and that he would be risen from the dead. And so they knew this, and they went running to the tomb to find it empty. The world may say, look, that's just a coincidence. But for Peter and John, that was no coincidence. That empty tomb, they knew and they believed that he was risen from the dead. And it was a pivotal moment of faith in their lives that as they went forward and preached, as they went back in their own understanding of who they were, they went back to that moment, to that empty tomb, that moment of faith. You know, our challenge in this world is we see a lot of coincidences, a lot of things that seem like, well, it's just unusual or that's strange. You know, your challenge is this, is to look in this week, this week of Easter, and instead of saying, oh, that's unusual or that's strange, instead look for the hand of God. Look for what he's doing in your life this week and see what is it that he's calling me to do and what is this beautiful mission, this life that he's given for me. Happy Easter. Hey, I see you. Put down that Easter candy and subscribe here to Two Minutes to Virtue.